Hey, Craig here from Push Patterns. Today we're going to be looking at how we can program a classic house beat in Ableton Live. So this would be one in a series of videos where we'll be looking at programming drum beats in lots of different styles. So if this is something that interests you, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so let's jump in and let's make our first house beat in Ableton Live. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is choose a drum kit. So we go to a browser window by clicking this icon here. Then we're gonna go to drums in the categories and we're gonna choose 909 core kit. Drag that to the top of the MIDI channel. It's a classic drum machine that featured heavily in early house music and it's famous for its open hi-hat sound and also its swing, which is the feel of the drum beat. Uh, so we're gonna include this open hi-hat sound, but we're also gonna look at how we can imitate this swing, this feel that the drum machine had. Okay, so let's check our drum sounds here. So we have the kick and then we have the snare. And then this is the classic open hi-hat sound. Okay, so let's create an empty MIDI clip. So we double click in a clip space here. We're gonna put a kick drum on each beat. And we do this by double clicking. Then we're gonna put a clap on beats two and four. And then we're gonna put an open hi-hat sound on the off beat. Now the off beat is every and of the beat. So we have one and two and three and four and. That's quite hard to understand if you're not too hot on your music theory. So what we're gonna do in Ableton Sequencer here is we're gonna put an open hi-hat sound on the third space of each beat. So there's one there. Okay, so let's audition our beat by pressing play on our clip up here. Cool, that sounded pretty housey. You could stop there, to be honest. It sounds like a classic house beat, but let's add in some extra closed hi-hats to give it um, some more rhythmic um, division. So let's put a hi-hat on the second space and the fourth space of each beat, see how that sounds. Let's press um, spacebar this time because we've engaged the clip up here. The play button is illuminated so we can press spacebar to play and spacebar to stop. Great, sounding cool. Okay, now for the special source, which is the swing. So what we do here is we go down to this section in the clip here and press this groove area and we press this kind of hot swap button and that will take us to where all our grooves live. Now I'm going to choose MPC and go down to a 16th note swing. Let's go to like 54, something like that. And it will give you an, it will audition like a click sound and you're listening for the swing of this click sound, not really the click sound itself. So yeah, let's try that. Double click and now it's appeared here. So now it's been applied to this drum beat. So let's hear it. Okay, we can try a different one. The further we go down, the more intense the swing is. So let's go down to 58, 61. Okay, now we're talking. Let's try 66. Okay, let's stick with 66. Sounding pretty good. So there we have it, our first house drum beat. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a like. Okay, bye for now and hopefully see you soon.